Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. In the last episode, you saw me giving the patio area a bit of a refresh. I jet washed the paving to give it a bit of a clean up and also went over giving things a fresh lick of paint. I then continued with the makeover at the bottom of the garden, washing down that ugly brown fence and repainting it in a grey that matches the rest of it. So let me show you what I've been up to since then. Hi guys, so I'm back out in the garden again today. It's a glorious day, hopefully a glorious weekend. So I went to be in Kew earlier on in the week and I've picked up loads of plants. I'm going to fill up the hanging baskets and the planter that's got the clematis and the rose in it and probably a few other little pots as well because I did go a little bit mad with the amount that I bought so I don't know whether I'm going to have too many. I've already been out in the garden this morning doing a little bit of clearing up. The lawn needed doing again. There are parts of it that are going really really fast and I've also started clearing some of the soil right down at the bottom. I've made an, a little area for me to store it so that I can use it in the future with some raised beds so that I'm not spending an absolute fortune on soil. I've had a delivery from Wix. I ordered six bags of landscaping bark and a weed sheet so I'm hopefully going to get that bed cleared at the side over the weekend, get the weed sheet down and fill it with bark and fingers crossed that will stop those weeds coming through because it is a mess down there again. So I'm just going to get outside and enjoy the glorious weather and be one step closer to finally getting this garden finished.
I'm actually really pleased with the progress that I made yesterday. I didn't think that I'd actually get all of the bark down. So I'm really happy about that. I've left a space to go and get another hydrangea because it just looks so lovely. And although it was £25, I'm going to splash out and go and get another one as well. So I've just popped a pot in the ground so that I can lift that out, put the new one in and then fill around it. So I've still got a bag and a half of the bark left because I was a little bit worried that I wasn't going to have enough. But it's quite surprising how far it goes. So I'm happy with that. I'm not sure if I'm going to get back outside today because it looks as though it's going to start raining and I don't really know what to do next. I actually sketched out like the next stage of plans for the garden which Jasper is currently sat on so I'll try and show you this. Are you going to move out the way? So I've just sort of like drawn out that obviously not to scale so in the back corner where there's still currently quite a lot of dirt that needs shifting I'm going to have to put a base down I think to do, hello Jasmine, <laughs> to do a shed because the outhouse which is down here um, is not always going to be used for storage so I do need to consider a shed so that's maybe something that I'm going to get done sooner rather than later. All of this area at the bottom is going to be decking and I'm going to do some raised decking planters at the bottom and these are my depictions of some plants or flowers. Um, that's probably not going to go all the way to the end actually. Maybe try and have this as a corner stepping up or ending here so you can walk up onto the deck in there. So I've only done the weed sheet up to a certain point because obviously if I'm going to have the shed there then there's no point in me wasting it. So that's something that I can start cracking on with. Um, and then all of this area is going to be the lawn which I will need to get levelled off and probably fresh turf laid. I'm not a fan of artificial grass. I do quite like mowing the lawn so artificial is not going to be the way that I'm going to be going with this. And this is the block paving that runs down the side. That's obviously not that big. I went a little bit crazy with that one. So that's where I've got all of that extra dirt stored at the moment, which will get transferred into these planters when they're built and then topped off with some decent soil. The thing that's holding me up now is that fence at the bottom of the garden. And I was a little bit in two minds as to whether to just use the neighbour at the back's fence, but I would prefer just for a security purposes to have my own fence and I would get on with doing this myself but it really is a two-person job to try and get those concrete posts out they are so heavy and if I had someone to help me do it I would have just bashed on and got it done but I don't want to be relying on other people to come and help me so I'll just get the professionals in I'll have to pay for it and at least it'll get done but that is really going to hold everything up because I'm not going to be able to do the shed base or the decking until that fence is sorted because obviously no one's going to be able to dig those posts out if there's decking in the way. I've actually got my friend coming around today to move my phone line because I'm going to be getting new windows and a new front door fitted over the next couple of weeks and basically the phone line comes through the frame for the front door and this is going to give me an opportunity now to show you what I've done in the hallway because I've figured out obviously once all of that gets ripped out it's going to look a mess again. So if you remember the hallway was pretty grim. There was horrible like beige filthy carpet down, cream walls, a green ceiling. I think there was some yellow in there as well. I've, it was it was pretty minging and then green carpet that didn't match on the stairs. I actually reused the carpet from the living room to put down in here so that when I was walking in, it wasn't looking disgusting. So let me show you what it looks like now. It's a massive improvement. It's not perfect, but it really does look so much better than it did. So it's a little bit dark because the light coming in is kind of messing with the camera but the actual length of the carpet wasn't long enough so what I did was I just laid a piece of 
lino down which actually makes a little bit more sense because as you're walking into the door you're not walking dirty feet straight onto the carpet so that actually worked quite well um i painted the back of the door and replaced the handles in chrome so that looks so much better than it did i kept all of the wallpaper on the top and just painted it in white and then i stripped off the bottom and replaced it with this I was actually just really struggling finding a dark coloured wallpaper that would match the colour of the carpet. I did really like this when I first put it up but now I'm not as keen on it but it still looks so much better than it did. Um, so I've basically just run this up all up the stairs and it does look so much better than it did originally up to that point it actually looks pretty decent and at the top of the stairs and then when you go back round it's horrible green stuff that was up previously um but i also painted the coving in the same color as the door so this is the dulux ball hat i absolutely love this color light on actually so you can maybe see a little bit better and then just pop popped up a chandelier pendant light fitting and then i also just made a little boxing in because that is where the old boil controls were which i haven't had taken out yet so this is where the foam line currently comes in when the new door goes in all of this frame is going to be coming out so the foam line needs to be shifted so my friend thinks that we can pull this out here and then bring it into the living room which is actually where the master socket is Just waiting on hearing from david now to find out when he's going to arrive so in the meantime i'm going to head back outside and do a few bits so literally just as i finished filming that last bit pretty much straight away the doorbell goes david turned up and we managed to get the phone line shifted um, it was actually a bit more straightforward than I thought that it would be. Coming in through the door on the other side, there was then a cable that came up underneath here and that's where the socket was. So we drilled through using a massive drill bit um, and then basically pulled off where the wire was on the outside of the house, fed it back through, reconnected it up and the job is a good one. I've got a little bit of brick dust on the carpet which I need to clean off fill this in sand it paint it but this is hidden by the chair anyway so there's no rush for that so all of this can go back here behind the chair and it's out of the way so that's now all being disconnected and pulled out from the other side so that is now good for all of this to be taken out so i'm really looking forward to getting this door in because there is quite a bit of a draft that comes through here i think i'll really notice the difference with the new door um for the amount of heat loss there is at the moment compared to what it should be like once it gets replaced um but i'm also getting like frosted door number put in at the top it's just going to look really really nice and the front of the house can start looking a little bit nicer too as i said i didn't end up going back outside and it's now pretty late on so i think i'm probably just going to get tidied up now and leave the garden for maybe a couple of nights during the week if the weather is permitting and then carry on with it again next weekend thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you in the next video